As we continue our study of acids and bases in organic chemistry, we should take a few minutes to examine some of the structures of organic acids and bases, and that's what we'll be doing in this video. As we discussed in the last video, an acid is going to be a compound that can donate a hydrogen ion, so naturally these organic compounds that act as acids should have a hydrogen in the structure. The most common type of organic acid is called a carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acids comprise a class of compounds that have a structure containing a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, and then that same carbon is attached to an oxygen, which is then attached to a hydrogen. As we continue in organic chemistry, we'll quickly learn to recognize arrangements of atoms that comprise what are called functional groups. Another class of organic compounds that can act as acids are known as alcohols. Alcohols are recognized because they have a carbon that is bonded to an OH or hydroxyl group. A third type of organic acid is known as a protonated amine compound. Protonated amines are compounds in which a nitrogen is bonded to a carbon atom and that nitrogen is also bonded to a hydrogen. For these protonated amines, it's important to recognize that the nitrogen actually has a positive charge on it because while most nitrogens have three bonds, a protonated amine has an extra bond to a hydrogen. So in this case, this nitrogen has three bonds to hydrogens and one bond to carbon. And so the nitrogen has a positive charge due to the extra hydrogen ion or proton. When we compare the acidity of these different compounds, we can look at the approximate pKa values for each class of organic compounds. For carboxylic acids, these types of compounds typically have pKa values of about 5. The protonated amines, on the other hand, will have pKa values of about 10. Alcohols, and also water, which is very similar, will have pKa values of approximately 15. Given these values, you should take a few minutes to decide which of these types of compounds is most acidic and which is least acidic. Now that we've recognized three types of organic compounds that can act as acids, we can add another clarifying point to understand what types of compounds can act as acids in organic chemistry. In each of these situations, we notice that there's a hydrogen in the structure, which is something we mentioned in the previous video. But as we look more closely, we see that in each case, the hydrogen that is donated is attached to an atom, either an oxygen or a nitrogen, that is a very electronegative atom. So now we can add another clarifying point in that for a compound in an organic structure to act as an acid, the hydrogen should be bonded to an atom that's very electronegative. Now that we've looked at the structures of organic acids, we can move on to understanding the structures of compounds that can act as bases in organic systems. In general, the main base that you'll encounter in organic structures is, are going to be amine compounds. Amines, as discussed previously, are simply compounds in which a carbon is bonded to a nitrogen and the nitrogen is bonded to a hydrogen. The difference in the amines compared to protonated amines is that the amines have a lone pair of electrons. This is something that we mentioned in a previous video when we noted that bases generally have a lone pair of electrons on one of the atoms. We can use pKa as a measure of how basic compounds are as well. In general, the larger the pKa value, the more basic the compound is going to be. For amines, they will have pKa values in the range of about 40. Now that we've seen the types of structures that can act as organic acids or organic bases, we'll look at some organic acid-base reactions to see what's taking place. In other words, 
which compounds are donating the hydrogen ions and which ones are accept accepting them. In these reactions, we'll use curved arrows to indicate what's happening to the electrons. The curved arrows indicate where the electrons start from and where they end up. This reaction shows the acid-base reaction between carboxylic acid and a hydroxide ion. Using the curved arrows, we see that the bonding pair of electrons between the hydrogen and the oxygen of the carboxylic acid is donated to that oxygen, or remains with the oxygen of the carboxylic acid. One of the lone pair of electrons from the hydroxide oxygen are donated to form a bond with the hydrogen from the carboxylic acid. On the product side, we see that this pair of electrons on the side of the oxygen used to be bonded to the hydrogen. The hydrogen, which we indicate in red here, is now bonded to what was the hydroxide oxygen. In this reaction, we can see how an amine compound can act like a base. We see that the pair of electrons on the nitrogen is being donated to form a bond to one of the hydrogens on the hydronium ion. The electron pair that was bonded to one of the hydrogens is being donated to the oxygen of the hydronium. The red hydrogen is now forming a bond or bonded to the nitrogen of the amine forming a protonated amine. The hydronium ion that was present has now lost a hydrogen and is now simply water.